Dark Elves, they're obviously less likely to outbash Dark Elves because they've got more armor and generally bashier uh, than High Elves as well. And then uh, if you don't outbash them, then you're really going to struggle, aren't you? Because <laughs> they're just, ex as you say, exactly the same team, but with Edge 4 across the board. It's pretty brutal. Right, 100k, another wizard. Yep, okay. I forgot how shit it is when you just have a wizard every fucking game. Could have gone with a bribe against AV7 with the dirty player. I could have done. I could have done. Cool. That wouldn't have been a bad. Wouldn't have been a bad shout there, Squirrel Dude. At least Scum thinks I'm just. don't enjoy it. Terrible and Champs, so those are probably related to each other. Well, no, Hoons don't start with more dodge than Elves, depending on the build. One dodge to start out, but Dark Elves can have one. Wood Elves are going to have three or two at least. High Elves technically have zero, and Pro Elves technically have zero, but... Four. Skaven are going to have three to four. Uh, I guess if you count them, are going to have six. Get a five cast fireball. Or if you're not wrong, I remember when Blood Bowl 2 first came out, a guy who's like, Yeah, I just play 3000 team value dwarfs. Claw Palm is unfair. Bash is too good. Bash should be better, as it's like, you're playing 3,000 team value, concede all the time, dwarves. You are the reason skill exists, is to kill your team. Mighty Blow first on Ulf, Lodge Runner, Mighty Blow. Ugh. This is some very killy Norse. Man, Norse team? Norse team, so. Oh, Jim has the numbers advantage. Like 11 men Norse. It's like, by the time you get to 1200 team value, I want to have 12. Okay. And our team value want 13 players. Good gym pushes. Though, of course, never always rolls pushes. Trying to get his level up, fails. Like way better than half the other guys who did. did. Claw does the most against armor value seven. This is expected. Glorious, thank you Murloc Joe for the host. Uh, you can be my wingman anytime as long as you stop fucking killing everybody. Uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> mm, thank you. 
that Wesley Snipes looks like Dennis Rodman in the late 90s. That, that is what he looked like in the movie though, so... Mm. It is what it is. Does he blitz with the Yeti, and is it a three dice block? Of a claw, mighty blow Yeti. What else are you doing with it other than blitzing all of the time? Blitz nah. your berserker. But this is a Russian coach, so I just assume claw, mighty blow blocks. <laughs> nah, Joe, I couldn't still win. It was one one. I think I really couldn't have won with five players. I could have maybe drawn if I if I defended the two turn better. And it was what I was one 0 up. I, would, I wouldn't have conceded, but uh, but yeah, things had fucked up the defense for one turn. There you go. If I was one 0 up, I wouldn't have conceded. I'd have maybe he's got the draw, win or draw. Of it, but uh, I thought I was pretty much guaranteed to lose. Maybe, maybe he's got a draw, but I couldn't. I couldn't have won. I couldn't have won that game. I don't think at that point. When's your game with Ogres? The off game. Saturday? Yeah, the Ogres are Saturday at 12.30 GMT. I'll stream it because... You know, why not? There's the, there's the Yeti Blitz. It is not three dice, it's two dice. On the Mighty Blow. You trap and just rolls the six and a name you need. Player. Okay, it's probably a bit greedy. Way to negate that frenzy trap and what he did. real this time. So I'll get on the reroll though. I suppose it'd work. He realized it's kind of an important player for the matchup. Shame. Yeah, shame he uphold hit. <laughs> Fireballing just so I could hit his fucking thing was, you know, some people might call it shit and Arguably well, caused that cast though by giving you multiple assists. So, then what did you roll on the armor? He rolled a 7 on the armor so it helped have the assist. Fall. Only required two attempts.
Petrov, I believe that, but I'd probably believe just about any reason you'd say that Dennis Rodman did something to his hair or changed his appearance. I believe just about any reason you'd give, because it's Dennis Rodman. He's a bit... Playing Camry again, Wolfpark, and you failed the 14 pickups in a row. I think I've seen someone fail rolls with an orc thrower before, which is pretty great. That's pretty helpful for me. Camry being shit. I wonder if it was in the rain, too. That sounds like a very Camry thing. It's just the rain just makes them completely worthless, which is why I'd always take the dome. On them, which sucks because you want the anti riot, but like anything in the rain, they're just incompetent. <laughs> Knocks down a player with dodge. Dang, they were just, just being shit, Kimry. Fails a GFI that he took for no reason. Get a one dice into two dice block. Oh, makes sense. Totally, totally legitimate play there. Yeah. Well. It was... The foul was a badly hurt. It was appled into an MMG, but he took the badly hurt, of course. That reserves. It'll be back on the next drive. You're only going to be just as likely for that to happen in the next game you play with Gimmer. But I guess it then it also clears up all of these blocks for later. Here does have a one dice block with two GFIs on the ball carrier with block, and I'm suspect it's off previous actions. Double schools. That GF5 Blitz is looking a lot less likely now. Being less viable now. It's not. I'm not saying it's going to be less likely. Definitely less viable. Or the school with his Blitzer, though. Right, Berserker, whatever.
the ball. Like, a 4 plus, 3 plus dodge, if you can base the ball, you gotta do it. Let that runner be blitzing the werewolf. Be cautious. with someone and there it is and they were like why didn't you re-roll a loner block last action of your turn and it was turn two it was a, still a knockdown thing this is just a thing that people sometimes hard game to learn so it happens Wolf Park, I mean, the etiquette GG, but, like, the etiquette I'll just preach is you can complain about your own dice, it's generally not so great to rag on your opponent in match. You're lucky, you're only good because you got good dice. That's a bit of a shittier thing to do. Saying, I'm uh, saying, you complain about your own dice, it's usually pretty okay. I don't think most people, you know, have the common sense not to, but we'll get salty and make that mistake. Those aren't mutually exclusive, but it's one of those things where if you're having that bad of luck in such a critical area, it's very hard to distinguish good and bad play at a certain point. You could also be right in a way that's completely meaningless. Got pitch cleared. You know, he kind of played shit. It's like, well, great, but he's got pitch cleared, so what the fuck does it matter? I think uh, you can still look good when you lose four players on turn one. I think that match can still look totally fine, and uh, it's definitely all your fault that you have that many casualties in two turns. A ghoul, of course, gets a Kaz. You at least get sent off and kill your own guy? No. Oh, yeah, he's gone. As I think those players were technically of equal value. Yeah, they were. 70k for 70k. So, like, Kaz is actually still slightly more impactful for him than it is for Jim. Still even men's on the pitch, though. Jim's probably is down strength to, um... She versus two wolves. So the wolves are kind of out of position. Um, horrendously out of position on the right side. Practical terms, Jim does appear to have a number of advantage. But with the ball. Balls are fine. You know, it's not a turnover. Does his Vlodger on the reroll? Ayo. Ayo's. 
He didn't have sidestep, so he didn't, he didn't get to choose where he died. Shame. I'm the random lineman in the middle with the zombies. It's not. Old Frenzy Trap rolls pals. Frenzy Traps are never a problem. <laughs> Ignores and watch them just Frenzy Trap into 2Ds into 1Ds. With 2Ds into negative 2 dies and I've just... I've just given up relying on Frenzy Traps as a thing. They just don't work. I guess positive. Well, it's gonna certainly require some dice, most likely some 3 plus dodges. So far. more guys. Doing it properly. I actually prefer this kind of... Just because it's Norse and that's not what they do. Out of removal. These are rather than skeletons and they have armor value 8 and armor value 7. I like doing eye marking with players. I prefer to do the two marks in front of them. Yeah, the Ulfs were really happy to just put themselves on zombies and just decide that that's where they wanted to hang out for a little while for... Be able to nicely frenzy themselves away from the play for the rest of the half. Control and being annoying. Um... Probably gonna murder at least one of those zombies between the two of them. Horrible and terrifying one in nine dodge to get into a cage. For once. It's so nice because it kind of makes. He's now. Struggle to keep around. Yeah, the stun is huge now because now it's going to be a four without them. Wolves are so out of position. It's looking like it's going to be a four on five. Sorry, four on six for the defense now. We're going to do a rando base the ball blitz. I tried to blitz one of the old three with the pal and then run him up to be in position. Um, so accomplishes.
which fail. Jump up for once is, is pretty relevant here because it's going to make it so you can't you can't, you can't just potato with a couple of fortunate pows. Always going to be around, but that failure is still huge. Golem, which is nice. When they did, also means the old fenners are now completely out of the drive for the rest of the for the rest of it. Like they're not going to be participating in any of the play, which is huge. This lineman, which is an, on Jim's screen, um, who's picked up on some random zombie, is completely out of the drive. So Jim's going to have a numbers advantage for the rest of it. A drive that was looking much much more troublesome is looking much more possible. Is potentially the easy score at the end of all things. Uh, Norse got rid of all of his rerolls. Best stadium upgrade for dwarves. Get, ask a follow up to that. Do you have a death roller or do you not have a death roller? roller, then it's probably best to go with the Riot Stadium, because Dwarves really want to play for a 2-1 grind, which is to say they can only really play for a 2-1 grind. It ruined their offense and would make them far more vulnerable to going 1-1 one into, one into a half, as opposed to being up 1-0. Makes their destiny of being useless for the rest of the drive. Well, they even get random cast. They get an armor break, though, so good for them, I guess. Both down isn't relevant, and at this point, the Norse is just forfeited for the score. For this drive somehow, which looked pretty dicey. Mid turn five and six. No, he's he's gonna do a double GFI blitz. Okay, he just he just rolls. Catches the ball. Standard. Never mind. Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said a single thing. Curves is terrible. Um, while very useful for them is against the use I've found for the bomb for the gym gets out of here with a good touchdown. As rando spare, as very cheap spare players, to uh, sit on the LOS on your defense and get killed. Very cheap mercenaries, but it's like what they actually are there to do. Like far blast is a three plus or a three plus, depending on the distance, basically for a pass. Yep, bombers are just terrible. Commended the Star Player Stadium. Goblins obviously is a bit different story, but no, I would not never recommend it for dwarves, even though they have good cheap star players. I just don't think it's a very worthwhile purchase. Full enough. Aren't going to be down team value though. You could use it to scum, like you could use it to scum two players, which okay. Shit players. if you don't value them, of course. That is true, Jelly. We use them for that, but 
probably more useful. Um, Anti-Riot Cage is probably more useful, but... Style is using them to foul a whole bunch, and using them to just to die. I guess that's okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. It wouldn't be my first pick, that is. One turn here. Good day. Seven. Which makes it much tricky. But they have so much frenzy that it is actually a pretty. It's not an easy one turn, but it's a more simple one turn than. Movement 17. It's actually because their frenzy is naturally armor value. I'm actually strength 4 assists to get their players pushed up. Go. Does a thing. Square, if he was one to the left, he'd be able to get a um, three dice into three dice block, as opposed to this uh, three dice into two dice he's currently working on. Flow does a thing. Pass with the Lyman instead of going for a one turn. Uh, so now it's a 3D into 2D. This 3D into 3D. It seems like an assist. Because he has no players to fight over. Horse! Norse is never fun. Oh, at least he didn't get a vanity pass, he just removed three players. So, things looking up. God, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Gordon Blitzer woke up. So... I think miraculously only down a single player, but he's down massive amounts of strength now. With both and he can't hide any of his good players. Only a single flush going down to two ult and against two ults and yet he's massively up strength. But neither team has any guard, so it's still gonna be a lot of solo marking. brought in to allow the of his lack of commitment, this is where Frenzy can make your LOS blocks a bit trickier to get the assists you want. Oh hey! Standing up. So Mighty Blow Blitzer standing up. Mighty Blow Ulf is standing up, but the two most impactful Blitzers on the Norris team are laying down, so probably won't get absolutely murdered but he's still getting three blocks, so we'll see. Runner staying out is amazing. He's never gonna knock down a blodge player. And that's been, that was well, that's well shown in recent games. Hello. Skulls into a pal, but what looked like a very dangerous drive is here now. Mm. 
interestingly, he chooses to, to forego. He's only going to get... He denies himself on his own the Mighty Blow block he could have had. So, interesting choice. Or the cage. So, that's probably the correct one positionally. Oh, I guess he's to try and pick up the ball for some reason. And clearly he's decided which player he's going to pick up the ball with, but he eventually... Rando Kaz on an important player, Death. And the Flesh Golem finally gets a Rando Kaz and levels up. <laughs> Removal of <laughs> What is this? What is this? Horse are suddenly just a just a little bit less scary. Fine, terrifying Yeti, but does that actually happen six out of six times aren't gonna show up right now. Ball means that you just get knocked over instead of rolling pushes, but hey, there it is. First action, one and nine. Stand firm because he could have avoided it. There it is. There's the house. Hot killed. Excitement will run, will, uh... GFI to... Base the white that was already based and lying on the floor. Re instantly re rolls it, which <laughs> might have. Give the mighty blow hit. But, oh, he's gonna rando foul the white. Okay. That was dumb. That foul was very, very bad. <laughs> be on the ball, a 1db into 1db with Frenzy if he wants it, but I'm not sure he does. Oh, this is looking like a Norse match, with basically half of both teams off the field, send-offs, game. But you want it still more interesting than any game you'll ever see with Amazons. I 
fighting the werewolf. Ran. King of rando one dies block. The player for safety is probably the right play, because otherwise he's almost certainly going to get blitzed by the Yeti. Jelly Hole, he actually won a game with Nightcurs after the Conceit loss, and then other one. He's just, he's on mic, but not talking. Well, definitely ain't me playing. Going to hear you say that, Titus. Good God. The mount? What is third or fourth snake guys as an orc team has rolled? It's been pretty terrible. Fucking terrible. for a single Geo 5, 1 and 9 dodge, 2 die blitz with the ghoul on the carrier right now. And he does that a little bit. He still has a 1 dice block if he wants it. Into Window Zombie. Mighty Blow does a thing. Desperate times, Jelly O, and Jim was just like, hey, anyone can talk. That's how you, that's how you know it's bad. He isn't trying, which means that he probably is. If he was just knocked down, and then it becomes much harder to protect this ball. Now with the stun, he can just ignore the werewolf for a full turn.
by 1 dB on the ball if he wants it. And there won't be too much the opponent can do to... Actually blitz the ghoul, because they're only 5 movement. They're really slow. We've probably been a couple GFIs with loners, but... He would have been a bit out of position. So Jim's going to do the two, the dodge. Dodge. Bless. Reroll. Yeah, my bullets just a stun. Armor value 7 for the first time in history. Blitzes, and then it's going to be a bit tricky. Rid up the assist there, and he's now had to assist one and not. Wow! This guy is probably mad about his dice, but his dice have only compounded bad play rather than cost at this point, because he actually added an unnecessary assist there. And it cost him his chance to actually pick up the ball, even if that, even if had that succeeded. Much uh, dice causing this play as it was punishing it. Pick up on the ball too if he wants it. Action 4 plus dodge, not a great sign for the prospects of this team at this point. A Yeti? What? Only a stun, Jim fell. Um... It wouldn't even take the 11. I wouldn't take the IG, I would take the piling on. Skill left, but... Just foul to like hopefully get like his good player sent off and protect them. But I don't know, fouling seems way more fun though. The last skill would be tackle, but I would just skip it and take piling on.
I'm low with strength so four, I think, think about I think about the edge. I wouldn't be bad for it making like a vampire that had core and mighty blow. It wouldn't be awful, I mean, I'd like piling on with a strength four player less. Than, um, He's also low key a really, really, really good option there, because strength five frenzy blitz is great. They're really good. Kind of crappy fouling. Jim fouls. I've pioneered them. <laughs> Pioneer Jim fouls. Yeah, I'm just really fucking, really, 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 fucking, really, really, really salty at the moment, which is why Squirrel Dude is being a lovely chap and doing a bang up job of commentating. Thank you very much. Well, it's just after things we to be terrible at. I'm just pissed off that I, you know, that I defended the fucking two turn battle. Uh, all the cards you can't fucking help anymore. Anyway. That happened. No, I think. The so werewolf one SVP away from leveling up, so he'll almost certainly get the get the MVP after all that farming, and a rare and possible inconceivable flesh golem touchdown. Flesh golem level up. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. The MVP, because that's that is the life of necromantic. These zombies getting all the MVPs. Right, I'll shut up Johnny Five, sorry. <laughs> Warrior, because they're just shit at level zero anyway, so you can just replace them. You don't have the money for it, like. Warrior is more valuable than an un than a dead warrior. I think it. Environment you're playing in, like you're just playing in champs, like. Hear about it? Just keep playing. Jim. Do you have and buy a ghoul? Oh, hey, look, block. Um, save it. Another flesh golem. I've already bought the ghoul. <laughs> I think ghouls are too. The magical good. stream delay. So, there you go. Ghouls are just too good, I think. Oh, and stay fantastic. <laughs> 